What's up guys, in this video we'll create this interactive water in Unreal Engine 5.4 using the Niagara Fluid System. So let's get started. So we'll go ahead and create the games, third person. So make sure the starter content is enabled and we'll give this a name called Interact Water or whatever name you choose. And once we create the project, then what we will need to do is go to Edit, uh, Plugins. And we'll need to enable the Niagara Fluids plugin for this one. So go ahead and uh, select that one. Uh, it's in beta, but it's okay. So if it says, hey, it is, uh, you have to be cautious, go ahead and click OK and then restart the engine. Once the engine is restarted, then what we'll do is we'll go to our content folder and we'll go to a Niagara system. And in the Niagara system, in the uh, folder, there's Niagara Fluids. But if you go underneath that drop down, you'll see the shallow water that has the like grid 2D underscore SW underscore pool. So we'll use that and give the name whatever you like. I usually say NS underscore shallow water for my system. And yeah, and go ahead and drag that into your system. And yeah, you might need to pull it a little up. So I'm deleting them, this stuff, um, the ramps and stuff that was in here. Now you can see there's a blue water. Um, yeah. And if you were to now play it, uh, of course, it is not interactable at the moment, but we'll work through it. Okay. Now, if you were to take this, um, this cube and then we'll go to the tag and in the tag if you were to add a keyword uh, collider so make sure the C is uh, lowercase all of this is lowercase then you'll see right away that the water becomes interactive but of course there's a lot of waves and um, so we'll fix it mm, in a while but yeah you can see that the water is actually um, interactable Okay, so to change that, uh, what we'll do is we'll select the NS uh, underscore shallow water and uh, we can change the resolution max access to maybe 512 to see the better waves. Okay, and also for the bottom depth, you can change it to minus 20. So actually it's less turmoil than before. Okay, but you do see this edge uh, line in there. Um, we can change that too. So we'll double click this. We'll open in the Niagara fluid system. We'll go to shallow water imager system. And then what we you can type is wave. So you can see the dissipate waves near edge. And once you do that, actually those um, edges uh, should work a little better. So you shouldn't be able to see those edges on the side, uh, which is much better. Um, yeah, it is interactable with the cube, but not interactable with the person, right? And still, the there's some water waves uh, that are generating in here in the middle. And I found a little bug probably in 5.4, so I was like, you know, playing around, changing the bottom depth to maybe uh, a lot less, uh, hoping that it would work a lot better. But then I ended up actually removing the uh, waves and hopefully they will fix this in 5.5 which I'm yet to play I do have it installed uh, but yeah if it still shows on the edge that's okay so next we'll go to the blueprint third person template and then what we'll do is bp underscore third person and in this we'll add a tag called collider so it's the same way so basically add a collider to whatever thing that you want to make interactable with the water Okay, so this is what we are doing for the person here. And I'll go ahead and play this. Now you'll see right away when I'm playing, you'll see the waves. Um, it generates the waves. Okay. Um, and it is interactable water. You can see uh, the person is generating the waves. And yeah, the water is interactable, and so it's not static like before. 
Uh, there's quite a few you could do actually with this too. Um, if you want to see, like, you know, if you want to debug it, you can debug that. So to debug, what you will do is you will go to the NS water and then under Niagara Utilities, you can click debug and make sure the debug overview enabled and go ahead and play this. And you should be able to see, um, you will get this debug window where you can see all of the stuff that you need. Um, it will show up right there um, for you to debug. Yeah, I think uh, that will be all for this tutorial. Hopefully this was short and simple and easy to follow. Let me know in comments if you have another tutorial request. I would love to make it. Until then, peace out and enjoy Unreal Engine.